Hello everybody, Ben here, and today is layout update video number two. Let's get into it. Green Ferris 4MT has been swapped for the smaller M7, as the 4MT felt a little bit big for the layout in my opinion, and you may have already seen this M4, or M7, I don't actually know which one it is, in the video a running session with a difference. But what you may not know, or have seen, is that this locomotive is fast, very fast and probably the fastest in my collection. This locomotive is a dapple locomotive that I bought in a show a couple of years ago by the way if you didn't know. This locomotive is also very light which is probably why it's the fastest in my collection as I said but I really like it and it just seems a bit smaller and I quite like the wheelbase because it's not, not like any others that I have. And even though it's kind of a pre one, I bought it for less than £50. I think it looks pretty good and runs not too bad as well. Which is a good thing, especially for PM locomotives. Um, but yeah, that's what's happened with that. You can see here, it runs quite nicely into the station. And then it runs very nicely around the um, run around of the station. And it's a bit easier to get around the coaches because I don't know if the um, foreign team could actually get around it. But yeah, that's what's changed so far. The next thing to have changed on the layout is I have found some plastic kit buildings and I have made them up and then I've put them in places where the tank was which I've used to create a factory where the tank was placed. However, that one moved behind the tank engine which is kit built in double O gauge because um, I won't build a tank gauge engine kit please one that won't run um and i think that looks quite a bit nicer there and sort of fills in an empty area the next thing that i i have i ordered some kits of patterns um a corner shop kit a kestrel one made by gauge master and also the good shed that they make which i think looks pretty nice the next thing that is um done is that i've changed the um station building a bit i built a um new from the new station building from the old oh the old one which is a bit more of a smaller one and this one just makes the platform feel a bit less empty because there's no figures at the moment but that is going to be changed it i can't remember what one it exactly is but yeah that's what's changed the next thing to have changed is that in the plan field below the fiddle yard there is now actually a field, some grass which makes it a field and probably in next, in next week's update you'll probably see some bushes on it probably not trees, I don't have any of them at the moment but I'll try and do a half and side of that um, but it looks much nicer there especially when I've done the other field next to it as well which is next to the goods yard um, and it makes it a bit nicer when the, looks a bit nicer when the trains are leaving the um, fiddle and this week if you want a quick recap well there's been a new factory with the tank being moved behind the locomotive kit that I built. Um, there's been a new locomotive in replace for the um, 4MT big tank engine. Um, a field below the um, tank, below not the tank and the um, fiddle yard has now been filled in. And the station building has changed from a slightly smaller one to a slightly bigger one. And I've got some more kits which have not yet to be built. And that's about it and I've also planned for the um, vaccine to be not anything like the bridge that you can see right now because it was never going to be a bridge but more of a countryside scene but I actually think just a nice glow-ish sky looking thing will be a nice thing because it's a very simple one and will draw your eye away from the layout and except instead it will look at the layout and sort of draw your eye to the train is moving. I hope you enjoyed this video by me please like and subscribe and leave a comment with some video ideas or feedback but that's it thank you for watching layout update video number two goodbye